Welcome to my data visualization final project. I'll be using the data set of global terrorism collected from the website Kaggle, an open source data science website. I'm going to begin by talking about the most successful terrorist groups in the world and then focus in on terrorism in the United States by attack type, weapon type, successful attacks, numbers killed in attacks, and the most lethal terrorist organizations. So we'll begin by showing you a parameter control of the most successful terrorist groups in the United States. This control filters the top terrorist organizations based on the number of successful attacks. As you can see, the top five Many are currently operating globally and may increase in position. After controlling the parameters to increase the terrorist organizations to the top 10, you can see that some of these have ceased operations or have seen a decrease in successful attacks in recent years. One example of this is the IRA, Irish Republican Army. Looking at United States terrorism attacks by target type, unsurprisingly, more attacks have occurred on the east and west coasts, which are also in higher population areas. There are also a large amount of attacks on businesses and abortion-related establishments. As seen from the map of the contiguous United States, Washington, D.C. shows a higher amount of attacks were on government and government related targets. This is the most concentrated amount of attacks for government establishments in the entire country. Switching over to Alaska, we can see that the lowest population and least number of attacks on any state in the country. However, this may have been a more effective or lethal attack considering the remoteness of the state and type of attack on utilities. Also outside of the contiguous United States is Hawaii. This reveals a large portion of attacks are carried out on military educational, and airport targets. There's more tax in a smaller area than some large states such as Alaska and Wyoming. Diving deeper into the United States data set, reveals that a large portion of the attacks are carried out on business and government targets with combined amount of attacks that account for nearly 45% of the successful terrorism attacks in the United States. Transitioning to weapons, we can see that a majority of attacks utilize explosive and incendiary devices. Since no metadata was given to define these metrics, I assumed that these included explosives such as homemade bombs and dynamite, and also incendiary weapons such as Molotov cocktails and gasoline that was weaponized, which are relatively easy items to obtain. Looking at the weapon type used most by each target type, explosive devices are uh, shown to populate the majority of weapons used in successful terrorist attacks for the top five targets. However, there is one exception on abortion related attacks, which see a larger amount of weaponized incendiary attacks. 
One insight that I found interesting was that firearms were not the most commonly used weapon type in attacks on private citizens in the United States. Explosive devices were. Investigation of the United States distribution of number killed by weapon type compared to adjacent countries shows United States having a large outlier of number of people killed by vehicles in terrorist attacks. This is mostly from the attacks on the World Trade Center where 2,998 people were killed uh, by an airplane that crashed during the Al-Qaeda attacks. After omitting the vehicular data, firearms are, are seen as a slight outlier for the United States with 341 people killed in terrorist attacks. However, the bordering country of Mexico reveals to have the largest outlier of number killed in terrorist attacks using firearms. The firearm deaths in successful terrorist attacks increase as you go south from Canada to the United States and then to Mexico. This may indicate a larger presence of terrorist organizations in Mexico, however more analysis would be needed to confirm this. This visualization shows a trend of the successful terrorist attacks in the United States from 1970 to 2026. Successful terrorist attacks in the U.S. have seen an increase from 2013 to 2016 and are the highest since 1984. Using the analytical feature in Tableau, I fit a trend line indicating a slight upward trend with a prediction of estimates that successful atta terrorist attacks will spike and then decrease drastically. However, the overall trend from 1970 to 2026 20, is decreasing. The most lethal terrorist organization in the United States is Al-Qaeda. This is also from the terrorist attacks on 9-11 on the World Trade Center. After excluding the terrorist attacks on 9-11, anti-government extremists and jihadi-inspired extremists are seen to carry out the most lethal attacks. So, what can be done? The government could use a combination of insights from individuals who are flagged as being affiliated with terrorist organizations in addition to their purchasing records with relation to items commonly used to build bombs and incendiary devices to determine risk of impending terrorist attack by individuals. Thank you for listening.